What's up gamers, how are you doing? This video will be about keyboard and settings. Please like, sub, and comment on what real keyboards or settings you use. I have already made a video about what I use, but I want to generalize it to help you. Keybinds are super important because you remember yourself before sitting and playing if you're not comfortable with them. The settings I want to show you are easy to explain, so I won't go, I won't spend much time on them. Maybe is this allow you to walk through enemies if you're on market. This can help you with positioning and movement. LOD is in graphic. You have to put it on low and mark the effect LOD. Marking, it makes the AOV visual effect lower, therefore it is easier to see mechanics. It's not perfect, but it is there that you can use it. The valve setting that I will make sure you Look at is the camera with the fear of view or FOV. You have to make it so it expands out so you can see more area around you. This help with the this help with general gameplay because you can see more so you can react more in a better way. The main part of this video will be about scale clicking versus keyboard and R keys and scale clicking means you use the mouse for abilities instead of using R keys. Keyboard will be will mean keyboard means using your weapons and utility skills R keys. First off and what you need to keep in mind for the following is whatever makes it makes it possible and accessible for you to play, you should do that. No matter what I say or no matter what anyone else says. However, skill cricket in my opinion is more challenging to do well in end game context. I'm not saying well, I'm not saying you can't be good at it. It's just more challenging. Let me explain. When someone use, is using a mouse, then there is only one input that they can use for skills because it's all about the pointer. Therefore, unless you spend significant time in an aim trainer or practicing skills too. Your inputs to the skill most likely will be slower than a keyboard user. A person who to use the R keys for the keys have more inputs, aka fingers, that they can use. Another reason why it can be more difficult is you have to keep track of the cursor. I know there was some add-ons that you can adjust to make the mouse bigger or the cursor bigger. But it is another mechanic that someone needs to keep track of. This could be my own bias, but with the keyboard, you need to pay attention to the person you are hitting. However, in my opinion, it is not a constant thing you need to focus on. To better understand both sides, I decided to do a Reaper rotation, which I put it in the video. My Reaper rotation is already scuffed, but I had both skill clicking and using the keyboard. I am unsure if it's just my familiarity with the keyboard, but I found it easier to hit my the skills fastly and correctly. It seemed to me I took longer to make sure I was on the skill clicking it. This was in the goal room, therefore there were optimal settings 
where I did not have to worry about mechanics or using my LEDs. I was just 2.5 to 3K higher than using the mouse on it. There's a significant difference in DPS. This can be carried out to support. This demonstration shows that keybinds might be easier for you. But again, do whatever make the game makes the game playable and accessible for you. I just wanted to add this in for those who are able to switch and needed to, needed the reason why. I have friends that skill crack and are pleased at reading and other end co other end game content. Also, I did raise. I did raids with other content creators and some friends where they could only play with one hand. The link will be in the description and some use the mouse only while and others use keyboards only. And we were able to create play bosses with ease. It is more about knowing the correct abilities to use and the mechanics of each boss to be able to succeed. These are the, these are the general tips for keybinds that you must remember. Everything you everything should be easy to hit quickly. Like avoid far away far away keys from the WASD or whatever you use to move. You you should be able to move, attack, and dodge at the same time. The the keybinds that will feel most comfortable for you will be different for everyone else. But the way I have it set up is weapon skills one through five, utility skills Z X C V B, dodges are. And everything else is normal besides some niche things like specialty keys, control, about face to G, turn back, or shift. Just remember the core principle should be able to attack, move, and dodge. Everything should be easy to hit quickly. That's all I have for this video. If you enjoyed it, if you enjoyed it, please like. Comment, sub, and I will see you in the next video.